A huge moment. I mean, he's one of the political survivors, you know, cons comparatively in EU politics in Europe. You know, he's been there more than many other leaders since 2013, a brief spell out of office, then back in again over the past um, six years. They called him Mr. Wait and See. He always deliberated. It's Mariano Rajoy said that he got through and the Spain through the worst of the financial crisis. Now, well, his fate was in the hands of the parliamentarians. They voted against him. So let's just recap on what's happened. Mariano Rajoy stepped into Congress, and I think it was pretty clear that he knew he was going. He thanked, um, he said, Parliament for his time in office. And he also said to Pedro Sanchez, the new Spanish Prime Minister, 46 years old, socialist leader, he said, congratulations for the job. The big thing here, the heart of this crisis, was a corruption scandal between the 90s and about 2005 and called the Gortel case. It came to a head at the High Court last week. More than a dozen former uh, People's Party uh, members, ex-members, were jailed, including the former Treasurer. The High Court judge said the PP Party were intrinsically linked to creating a system of institutional corruption and said that Mariano Rajoy's testimony a year ago was questionable. So that caused a political earthquake. But here's the brief point to work out. As we see the new Prime Minister take the job in Spain, there were six other parties that have supported it. But what conditions are they asking for? These are Catalan nationalists, Basque nationalists. Mariano Rajoy called it the Frankenstein movement against him to get these numbers. Um, Pedro Sanchez at the moment is saying he wants stability, he wants an end to corruption, and we may see him leaving here shortly.